How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be reviewing another movie that just came out. It is The Exorcist Believer, I think. Honestly, I was kind of surprised by the movie. At first, I went in thinking that it was just going to be like a shitty reboot, sequel kind of thing that like, you know, a lot of movies already do. Uh, I checked it out. It had a 5.2 on IMDb, a 22 on Rotten Tomatoes. But it had an 82% on the Google score, which was pretty weird for me. I didn't really expect it too much. And I just got to say, The Exorcist isn't as bad as a lot of people are making it out to be. So why do I say this? Why do I think that The Exorcist, the, the, the newest one, The Exorcist Believer, uh, isn't as bad as it seems? It's because a lot of people are shitting on these types of movies where they're obviously like just trying to write off of the name of the original by bringing in a few characters of the original and then just trying to just play it off a bit. If you haven't seen the movie and you really want to see the movie and you're really not interested in spoilers, then this is probably the time that you should click off the video just because I do go into spoilers and I don't want to ruin your movie watching experience. But so I will be going into the movie. The movie has a very generic plot. You know, it's a dad and his daughter where his mother, where her mother died in this freakish accident where have i heard that before i don't really know what movie i've heard that before but i've definitely heard it before and so um we go into the the plot a bit this girl's like oh can i go uh do a bit of homework with my with my friend and he's like hell yeah go do go do homework with your friend that's that's gonna be fun little do they know that it's not actually homework but it is a ritual and what other kind of ritual but to talk to her dead mother it makes a lot of sense, you know, a lot of people do that. And so they lose consciousness for like three days, get super possessed and do a bunch of crazy shit that like, I don't know, like they just started throwing up blood, come up with all these scratches, uh, do some really insane shit that I do not think is very YouTube friendly, but it has something to do with no nail. Okay, so let's just uh, tone it down a bit with the gore. Um, I know that a lot of people have been calling me soft because of my um, review on Saw. I don't really think that all of this is way too, I don't think that this movie is way too gory, but I know that I have viewers that don't like that gory aspect. And if I were here to explain every single gory aspect of the movie, a lot of people would definitely c click off. So don't shoot the messenger. And so it, the back half of this movie makes it very interesting, okay? Because I, I wanna dive into the 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 climax and then the ending of the movie which which for me were the most interesting parts the exposition and everything else about the movie was way too slow and i just did not understand like it was way too slow it went way too much into depth about her mother dying it went too much into depth about her getting a blessing before her mother dying it went way too much into depth with the whole her mother being dead and stop doing that shit and then it finally got to the exorcism, which was like, well, not the exorcism, but the possession, which was the more interesting part where then the dad is so desperate to do anything to help his daughter that he starts looking into the, the Christian faith because all these movies have something to do with Christianity and uh, the Lord Jesus Christ compelled you to get out of this body. Obviously, everyone knows that that's like the super original thing because usually it's like the fathers and the priests that go and attack these spirits. So this movie is no different where uh, the dad is trying to find someone who knows about exorcisms and who does she, who does he go with? The mother of the original exorcist movie, like the mother of the girl that got the first exorcism in these movies. And so she goes and tries to help and it fails miserably. She ends up with both of her eyes being, I don't think I can say that, but she ends up losing both eyes she can't see anymore uh just because she decided to attack the ghost alone if i've learned anything from my solo playing on phasmophobia on twitch.tv slash real uh who would put such a shameful plug um but if i've learned anything it's that solo ghost hunting is super dangerous don't go doing it just randomly okay you gotta actually have a team and do it right okay especially when trying to confront the ghost this girl just goes locks herself in a room with the ghost and thinks that just by saying a few words you're gonna compel the ghost to leave okay no it doesn't work that way and she figured that out it doesn't work that way and so you know like the the movie keeps on going and like i was saying 
climax and just the the falling action and the the resolution if, if you're in english class i gave you some answers right there very nice the movie starts to get very interesting when uh they, they're like you know what we gotta perform an exorcism just us like the because like it's two girls so it's the parents of the two girls the dad of this one girl like i said the dad of this one girl is very likable he was a character that would do anything for his daughter and was constantly there beside her, even though she literally tried to murder him like at the beginning of the movie. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. You know, murder me once, shame on you. Murder me twice, shame on me. So what does he do? He goes and gets back into the fire. And so uh, literally he goes in like they get they get these girls in a circle and uh, they, they get like a priest and they're like, yo come and help us with this and he's like uh no the church won't allow me to do it you're on your own buddies and so they go and they do their own exorcism it's failing miserably because this spirit knows everything about everyone and starts calling people you whore you bitch you didn't want me and so the the, the ghost is just like tanking uh like 1v like 10 it's just tanking it is going a 1v10 and it is beating everyone up like it was insane the amount of comebacks that this ghost had and so at the end of the day the priest comes in with all of his might i am the father i am gonna get you guys and what happens the priest ends up dying like basically as soon as he touches these girls he just dead no <laughs> he's like don't get too close to the girls okay don't touch her touches both of them just dies instantly like it was so stupid what I'm trying to say by this is that the plot was very basic. Some of the characters were very likable and some of them were very noticeable that they were going to be like this. For example, like he tries his exorcism, it failed, he dies. And so they just keep on trying to go, keep on trying to do it. And then the ghost is like, if you want to exercise one of us, the other one is going to die. Okay, that is how it's going to be. Either we both die or only one of us die. And so obviously you'd think that both of the parents would fight to keep their kid, but they're both like, no, I can't take away your kid. You can't take away my kid. So where are we? And so they just keep on fighting. They keep on like tasseling and tasseling around until finally the dad of the other girl, like not, not, not the protagonist, the girl, but the other girl comes in and he's like, yo, I want to keep my daughter. And the ghost was playing tricks and the ghost was like, oh, you want to keep your daughter? I meant pick which one dies. And so, yeah, that's what ends up happening. The other one ends up dying. The other one gets exercised correctly. And they end up happily ever after. Um, the movie, like, that was the most interesting part of the movie for me. That Like, the, the whole entire exorcism. Um, there were these uh, sudden jump scares that did somewhat get me. Like, at the beginning of the movie... I knew that there was going to be like some jump scare while they're trying to investigate where these girls went. But then they all of a sudden like open up something and like a snake pops out. And that was so weird. But I like it, it made like I wasn't expecting a fucking snake. Who's expecting a snake there? Like in the like in, the, in like a watery thing. It, it was so weird. Um, like I said, visually, this movie is just pretty unappealing it's two young girls getting exercised it, it's it's pretty unappealing to the average viewer but i like horror movies i found it to be interesting and personally for me it's like a 6.7 out of 10 the movie was very interesting don't get me wrong i enjoyed the movie but if i'm gonna say and sit here and say that it was a good movie it was a very generic movie like you get what you give and like i just I feel like it was an entertaining watch and I would I wouldn't consider watching it again like if someone tells me yo let's go watch it again I'll be like okay yeah let's go but the issue is would I go watch it by myself again no I don't think so just because I already saw it once that's that if you guys have enjoyed this review then definitely hit that subscribe button hit the like button comment down below what you guys think of these videos we are trying to get as high as possible with these subscriber counts not with the other things just the subscriber counts that's how high we're trying to get if every one of you can subscribe that would be a great help to the channel thank you for watching this video i'll see you all in the next one peace out